Beret Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Today from the original setup. I know guys that you love when I do uh, videos on my car. Um, if you are new here and you have no idea what the hell is going on, well, when I started my channel three years ago, I was an Uber driver and I did my videos on the car, you know? So it's a very special place for the ones who have been with me for a very long time because, you know, this is where everything everything starts, you know? And sometimes when I'm doing errands and stuff, I do videos from here. So today is Sunday, my husband is in church, so I'm waiting for him to get out of church because I am not a church kind of person. So in the meantime, I was just like, let's just do some videos. Let's just like spill some tea and, you know, talk about things that are happening um, in the Bravo verse, right? Okay, so it is time to talk about the Real Housewife of Orange County. Girl, Tamara Judge is breaking her silence after she received a huge backlash, a huge backlash, you know, for uh, snapping and being disrespectful to Big Daddy, to Andy Cohen at the reunion. So, if, of course, we probably already watched the reunion. You know that Tamara Judge tell him to fuck off, to stay quiet, to all of that, you know, and the world lose its shit, you know, it was like, why are you being so disrespectful, like, why are you biting the hand that is feeding you again, you know, like, this was very much, this was giving, like, the cast of Vanderpump rules being disrespectful to Lisa Vanderpump, you know, it's, it was like, like, why, why would you go there, you know, so she's finally, you know, breaking her silence, because people were not happy, like, ex- Instagram, TikTok, people were not happy. People were saying, you are being so disrespectful. Disrespectful. What is wrong with you? You don't do that. All kind of things, right? So uh, she went, of course, on two teas and a pot, and she was doing an interview with Teddy Mellencamp and Cindy Bailey, and they were kind of like all talk about this. And, of course, she kind of like... She didn't apologize. I mean, she didn't really took any accountability. She didn't apologize. She didn't say, I'm so sorry that I did that, or I was under a lot of stress, or, you know, like people were doing this or saying that. Like, no. I mean, what are you doing, Tamara? What are you doing? And you know that I am on Tamara's team, right? Like, I love her. But if she's not smart enough, this second chance is gonna be going away, you know? And I don't like her, I don't want her to become like a Nini Leaks. You know what I mean? Like Nini Leaks, not after everything that happened after, but like Nini Leaks, she started thinking that she was this huge, super important housewife, that she was needed for everything, you know? And yes, I know that she's big, but it didn't work out, you know, and if you go against the big guns, you need, they, these people need to realize they're still reality star celebrities, okay, and it's still not the Tamara Judge show, is real housewives, so she still needs to be very careful, and the way that she is snapping at the coin, I do believe that it was very disrespectful, now, she is saying that, you know, she kind of like, double down on, on, on the reason why she did it, you know, like, oh, well, we were talking about this, and he was bringing up a comment of, like, two years ago, and I, I was like, oh, no, like, shut up, why are you saying this, and, like, fuck up, you know, and all of that, and it basically, like, saying, like, I was right, you know, like, I, I was right, I needed to, like, stop him, and I needed to let him know one thing or two, you know, and then she also says that, however, she that she's not stupid and that the only reason why she knew that she could do that is because she has a different relationship with Andy Cohen than many other housewives and that their relationship is in a stage where they can like talk to each other like that and not really being affected uh, by it you know 
And I'm like, mm. look, yes, of course you behave differently when with your with your friends than when you do with random people. You know that's human nature. And yes, maybe she and Andy are BFFs, which is probably true. You know, I mean, I know that Andy Cohen really, really, really likes Tamara. Uh, I don't know how much of a best friends they can actually be because a best friend to me is someone that is close to you, that talk to you almost every single day, who, you know, is probably living in the same place that you are, you know, stuff like that. So I don't know. So I don't know exactly what is the extent of their relationships. However, I do feel that when you are on a professional environment, which the reunion, it's your job. It's still Real Housewife. It's still your job. And Andy Cohen, it's still your boss, you know? So saying that in front of the other housewives and in front of the cameras for the world to see, I still believe is very disrespectful, you know? Like... You should not be saying any of these things, especially, you know, the way that she did it. Um, you can snap at Andy. Uh, you can do little comments here and there. I think a lot of housewives have done that before, right? But there is a level of respect. The way that Tamara said it, you know, first of all, when she said like, ah, fuck off, you know, and then when she said, yeah, so, yeah, so you know, be quiet. <clears throat> the way that she said it, if I wouldn't have been Andy Cohen, I wouldn't have lost it a little bit, you know? Or I will have like snapped back and I will say like, oh no, you be quiet. You need to remember your place. I am your boss. If you go to any company in the world and you talk to your boss like that, he will correct you in front of everyone and you will probably lose your job, you know? Because it's disrespectful. And no matter if you are a best friend, no matter if you are the, um, no, not the grandmother, what is the name of the um, godmother? No matter if you are the godmother of the kids, no matter if you gave him your kidney, no matter anything, no matter how good of a friend you are, when you are on a professional setting, he is your boss and you show him respect. And I don't know. I feel I feel that Tamara is going to be punished somehow for this next season. I don't think that she's going to be fired or demoted, but I feel that she will be punished somehow next season because you don't mess with Big Daddy. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you surprised that she's not taking any accountability? What do you think that Andy Cohen needs to do next? Let me know, and if you want to get all the tea related to the Real House of Orange County or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya! Bye!